It's not a you thing, it's me. And I appreciate you still being here. As a matter of fact, ladies and gentlemen, it is star time. A very special guest that we have from Nashville, Tennessee. She performs in comedy clubs and colleges all across the country. So a warm Alaskan welcome to Kendra Corey. Woo! Nashville, I'm super happy to be here. Yeah, I, uh, get rid of this thing. Um, yeah, I flew into Portland and, uh, been doing a tour. Yeah, Portland. Freaking awesome. Like, and then I went to Seattle. And this is my first time in the Pacific Northwest, so I've noticed a couple things. Like, Portland is like a teenager, right? But Seattle's like a teenager that had parents that cared about it a little bit more. <laughs> And I love them both equally, and I would adopt them as my own if it weren't so expensive. Um, but yeah, like the girls that picked me up from uh, from the airport to take me to my Enterprise rent a car were very young and clearly have not experienced pot yet. And I was super tired already, <laughs> and they were just very chipper and sweet. And one of them's like, okay, so like, what do you want to listen to? We got all the radio stations, we got like Pandora. <laughs> I don't care, it's fine, whatever. I'm very tired, you know, seven hours on a plane. She's like, oh my God, there's a 90s station! <laughs> <laughs> and then <laughs> Fine, yeah, that's great, okay. She said it in a way that made me feel old. I'm not old, but I'm definitely, hey, the 90s aren't vintage years old. You know what I mean? <laughs> Most of the time I'm like, oh, I don't want to put on pants and leave the house years old. <laughs> and occasionally I do approach, whoa, is that a Vitamix years old? Because <laughs> there's a line. <laughs> <laughs> they were sweet, and we were listening to the 90s, and Britney Spears comes on, as she do, and, uh, and I, re I remembered how much she sounds like she just came from the dentist, you know, or like they, she's got something stuck in her throat, you know, like, like a Backstreet Boy. <laughs> Maybe she's allergic to something. She's having a reaction to shitty music. Um, that would make a lot of sense. I'm just, I just, I love Brittany, uh, and I appreciate her for doing her. She's never tried to be anything other than bubblegum. She knows that she is pop, and she has stayed there. She's never tried to do an acoustic set. <laughs> this, cause what's she gonna do? Like, like walk up to the piano player and be like, um, could you play that song in the key of off? <laughs> It. Uh, yeah, so uh, I'm, I'm super stoked to be here, and I was I was in a bad car accident last year during a snow apocalypse. I don't know if you guys remember, but over in the Midwest, there was a huge snowstorm, and the entire U.S. news media decided to get together and call it snow apocalypse. They all agreed on that name, uh, and I find that if the media agrees on anything, it's probably the end of the world. But uh, if they agree to name a storm after something that kills all of humanity, <laughs> pro tip, uh, don't drive in it. Because I did. I was, uh, I was in Wisconsin, probably my first mistake. <laughs> uh, did, did we have a not like an awe for Wisconsin? <laughs> the bait of my don't, I don't drink beer, right? I'm living in freaking Milwaukee, which is dumb. I fell in love, right? Listen, if anyone ever tells you that they love you and then says, come live in Milwaukee with me, they fucking lie. <laughs> I don't drink beer, I'm lactose intolerant, fucking cheesehead for anyone. I'm on my way to do a, a set, like I'm on my way to do a show in Minneapolis, and uh, I hit a patch of black ice, which is not a rapper. That's <laughs> my thing. I'm right. And I spun out and I got to see the truck that was behind me that also couldn't stop because black ice. And I'm spinning and I'm freaking out. I'm like, oh my gosh, I can still see it! What direction am I gonna die? <laughs> and my car flips over. I split three times, I landed upside down in a ditch. Yeah. Because it, it, there's never a resort. You know what I mean? It's always ditch to catch it. 
a D spot. So I'm there. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm doing this thing. I'm swinging. All right, uh, I think I have all my limbs. And then this uh, civilian, bless him, he comes to the car. He's trying to keep me from freaking out, but he could only open the door like six inches, which was really building my anxiety. And uh, he was trying to talk to me and ask me questions like, hey, where were you headed? And I was like, I I'm on my way to a show. I'm going to pause for just a second and repeat that. I said, I'm on my way to a show. Yeah, no, because it hadn't clicked for me yet. Bitch, you're not getting it. <laughs> and besides, I really needed that $75. <laughs> so he's like, oh, what kind of show? And I was like, uh, comedy. He's like, oh, you're a comedian? I was like, yeah. He's like, oh, really? Tell me a joke. <laughs> <laughs> just leave. Just leave. Please. <laughs> Let someone less annoying find me. Pack of wolves. Don't really care, sir. Uh, perfume sales lady from the mall. Can you go get her? How about all the Jehovah's Witnesses? Please. <laughs> what if I tried to tell him a joke and it didn't go over? First of all, shouldn't be shocked, but what is he going to do? Like, man, I was going to try to save your life, but heck, you know? <laughs> cool. I do stand up comedy, not hanging upside down waiting to see if I'm going to die comedy. So, uh, the fire rescue did come, and the first guy comes, and he was way too chipper and nice and like happy about the whole situation. I guess business was booming because it's no apocalypse, but he yanks the door all the way open and he's like, hey, what you doing? <laughs> I'm just hanging out, <laughs> you know. I wanted to do some yoga. I decided to pull over. This is my downward dog. Can you get your fucking levers and pulleys and get me out of this car, asshole? <laughs> Call for backup, right? So then the second guy comes and he crawls into the car and I just say, dude, this is not where the party is, right? I'm trying to get out. What are you in here with? And then I realized that I was not paralyzed because he was super cute. <laughs> Apparently that's all it takes for me. Like a real nice beard, some kind of uniform that's like less threatening than most, and uh, a little bit of a Superman complex. <laughs> and I was like, oh, hey, uh, I'm from CPR. <laughs> Call for backup. So I'm like, I'm so happy. This is the only angle I can be at to have my tits all the way up to my chin. You know? <laughs> I'm taking the blood from my forehead, rubbing it in like rouge. It's great. And then the third guy comes and uh, he, he says, he asked me this dumb question. He's like, is it okay if I put my hand inside your pants to hold you up while we cut the seatbelt? <laughs> Permission granted, dude. I don't need to know your last name. I don't need dinner and drinks. I don't care how many fingers you use. Hold this. Don't care where you put it, okay? Get me out of this car. Oh, yeah! So I got out and I had to get a new car. Like a new to me car. I'm not like a brand new car. Uh, so I'm in my new car and uh, not even two months later, I'm, I'm living in Nashville at the time and like this dumb Skankosaurus hit, like she rear-ended my car in a yellow Hummer. I was like, short bus for rich kid, bitch. I was so mad, I was ready to punch. But then I was like, no, Kendra, like, calm down. It could be worse. Remember that whole flippy thing? Like, it's just a fender bender. Maybe she's okay. She's cool. She gets out of her, this car that her parents clearly gifted to her for some fucking birthday. And she's like, OMG, I am to sorry. I like totally didn't even see you. <laughs> well, glad mom and dad bought you the vehicle that allows you to see everything. That's great. <laughs> what were you doing? Were you texting? Yeah. Oh, were you texting your boyfriend? Uh-huh. Oh, uh, about Jesus and how much you love him? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And how much you want to meet him right fucking now? <laughs> Punch her in the baby maker, we're all safe. We're, uh, I just wish my dating life had been as productive as my car life. <laughs> At least the cars wanted to flip me over and hit me from the back. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I used to be, yeah, uh, from your lips. Uh, <laughs> it's been a while. I, uh, it's kind of a pattern for me. Like, I didn't. Thank you. I, uh, I didn't even, I didn't lose my virginity until I was 23. And I wasn't like hanging on, you know? <laughs> I didn't lose my virginity. I fucking auctioned it off. <laughs> I'm 23 years old. Are you in the market for a fast ass issue? No, you are not my car demographic. <laughs> this shit, no! <laughs> but yeah, I, uh, I don't 
don't know, I just, I, I've been doing things that make me feel good about myself. I think we gotta build our self-esteem. Learn how to dance from a fat, sassy black friend. I can drop it like it's hot. I'll show you, but I'm still working on picking it up. So, uh, <laughs> all right, you guys, my name is Ken Corey. Thank you so much.